Are you in search of a better night's sleep? Then it is nationally recognized interior designer Bobby Burke to the rescue. Yeah, from lighting and bedding to textiles, his tips will leave you well rested. He looks so cash just sitting there joining us today from New York City. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> I, I love the drum intro. That's the first one I've got all day. <laughs> oh, good. Glad you'll always remember Green Bay. Okay, let's talk a little bit about why sleep is so important for our overall well-being. I mean, you know, we know a little bit about that. You know, sleep, we spend 30% of our lives in bed, some of us less, some of us more. Um, and I always put it to you this way, sleep is just like your phone charger. When you go home at night, you plug in your phone because you know if you don't, you're not going to get through the next day. The same is with your bed. Your bed is like your phone charger. It's where you plug yourself in to get that full charge so that way you can make it through the rest of your day without dying and shutting off. <laughs> How can the design of our bedroom actually promote a better night's rest? You know, a lot of people's bedrooms ends up being that kind of catch-all for all the crap around your house that you don't want everyone to see when they come over. But that's really the worst thing you can do. Um, having chaos around you when you go to sleep is does not, it's not conducive to a good night's sleep. And waking up surrounded by chaos, you instantly feel defeated because you're like, oh, all the things I didn't accomplish the day before. And it just puts you in a bad mental health state. So you know what? I always recommend make your bed like your mama told you to do. So that way when you come home at night, you go to get in bed. It's like a hotel. It's nice. It's made. It's comfortable. But also people always ask me, what are the things I should splurge on in my home if I can't splurge on everything? And I always say your bed and your bedding. Because again, that's your charger for you personally. So making sure that you're getting a mattress that promotes good sleep health and great bedding, that it's comfy, that when you put your toes in it, it feels so good. It's the most important thing in your home. I have the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed, and the cool thing about it is it's just like your smartphone and your smart watch. It monitors your biometrics as you sleep. It knows your heart rate. It knows how you're breathing. And when you wake up in the morning, you get this cute little, you get a great little, oh, I lost my app. Where'd it go? Um, you get a good little stop. There we go. A good little mm -hmm. score when you wake up in the morning, and it tells you how good your sleep was, what you can do, the next day to make sure that your sleep is better. And it's not just about things that you do at night, it's about things that you do during the day that affect your sleep. You can take the 30 day wellness challenge at mysleep30.com slash challenge, and it will teach you ways to really make sure that you're prepping your body for sleep. Like for example, if you have your brights on, your brights on, <laughs> your lights on really bright at night, your body doesn't get in that sleep mode. When you turn your lights down low, your body naturally starts producing melatonin, which starts getting you prepped for sleep. So that way, when you do hit the sheets, your sleep happens much quicker than it does if you don't start prepping your body for sleep. This also sounds like a solution to my husband snoring, so I'm sold. I'll prove to him that he's snoring. Oh, oh there's it. literally, there's literally a button. There's a snore button in the oh, app. You hit yes. it and it raises your partners. It raises the side of their bed ever so slightly and makes them stop snoring. Oh, that's so much better than this. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Bobby, a pleasure to talk to you. MySleep30.com. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.